Fry bread is a Native American food found throughout the United States. And fry bread can be eaten alone or with various toppings, such as honey, if you like it a little sweet, or hot beef, if you want to add a little protein to the whole thing. Now, fry bread has a significant role in Native American cultures and is often served both at home as well as at gatherings. And I'm pleased to say that joining us today to show us exactly how to make fry bread the right way are Henry Townsend. Hi, Henry. Hi, how are you Good doing to today? have you with us. And the mastermind behind it all, of course, <laughs> this is Glenda Aracho. Great to have you with us. Thank you. I know you're not going to share all your secrets today, but we are looking forward to getting at least some of them. And, you know, thank goodness it's fry bread. TGIF, right? That's the, that's the slogan? Yep, TGIF. you got to always enjoy fry bread. And thank goodness it's always here about this time of year. I love that. <laughs> and you're actually going to be making us some fry bread this morning. So I know that there's a lot of different ways to prepare it. So tell us exactly what you're going to be doing specifically today. Well, we're going to do um, some of the more traditional style of fry bread which okay. uh, usually has the ground beef and the green chilies that we have here in this the mm. stew that we mix up and uh, we use that just mainly to garnish the fry bread nice. um, then we throw some cheese some lettuce some tomatoes and so this is actually right fry bread New Mexico <laughs> style literally yeah. yeah I mean a lot of the southwest um, you know area does serve that type of fry bread okay. um, dressed that same way nice well let's go to the the process a little bit show me how it's done because I know there's a lot more to it than just adding the uh, toppings at the end but there's the actual stretching of the dough and that's where the complexity comes yeah. in isn't it and this is where this is where you can show me the genius right we have the dough right here and yeah that's exactly where all the consistency from the fry bread comes is stretching okay. it just right and I'm no expert that's why we brought Glenda, yes, Glenda show us how it's done can you so, show us a little bit about um, it um this has um flour uh, whole wheat baking powder and a little bit of salt and we just mix it together okay then we let it rest and then how long do you generally let it rest for um it doesn't really matter it's, oh, okay and then so it doesn't have to be done overnight or anything you can do it as you're making it? yes oh, okay good 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 and then we roll it into little uh, round balls and then we let it set for a little bit and then we throw it in the hot grease okay i so. want to see this you told me, he told me this so would I, be fun tv right so now. i said i'm not the expert at this by any means okay so, so let's grab a, a ball there can then, i uh, i just hand that why don't you go ahead and grab oh one i got to do um, put a little uh, oil on it so it don't <laughs> stick to you oh yeah 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 okay <laughs> Gotta get it nice and greasy. That's the whole basis of fry oh, bread yeah. here. <laughs> I love this. Okay. Oh, so, it's fun. Glenda, do you want to show her on the other bottle? Okay, now you show me the right way and <laughs> we'll see what I'll really happens I'll let here. The experts do okay, this so part. now what do you do? <laughs> Just um, press it and Just it press it? yeah, it stretches it. Okay. Not so bad so far, yeah, right? Yeah, not too bad. As long as I don't break it. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, I want to mention while I'm doing this that you actually have a booth at the Gathering of Nations Pow Wow, which is really exciting. What, are we, what will you be offering specifically? Um, well, actually, you're going to see my, my uh, bright smile right when you first nice. get to the stand there. So, Fry Bread Power is the whole way that we go there. So. <laughs> um, we're actually going to be located there at the Gathering of Nations, or at the pit, with uh, thank goodness it's fry bread. Great. And um, we're going to be serving up, um, of Ooh, course, the good. traditional Indian taco. Oh, And yummy. then we also have another spin on the traditional um, fry bread, which is actually made with uh, strawberries and whipped cream, Ooh. too. So. so it's like dessert. All right, uh, how come mine looks so much greasier than yours? I put too much oil, put on too much oil on my hands. too much oil Okay. But wait, I'm not doing terribly, right? Um, it's not as bad as no, it could no, no, have been. No, that, that's Just a lot better than mine would around. have turned out, probably. <laughs> Just put it around? Yeah. Okay, I like this. I and like so this. when when I was um, when they were trying to teach me how to practice with yeah, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all the lumpiness that's in like the, the center of it that you kind of have to work out and okay, I can get, work like, out the, the lumps. pizzeria style going. Or. So yeah, the hotter the oil. Actually, at the gathering, we have um, an oil pan that's probably the size of this whole <gasps> this whole. Um, cooking area oh, wow. and so it's just full of you know just the vegetable oil that we use okay. and, um, so we usually actually we're gonna use this fork today but we usually have uh, pretty long these sticks that we use oh, um, to bet. actually flip them so well and to keep up with all the people that'll be yeah, lined up exactly. waiting to eat and usually we're stretching I mean Glenda could probably stretch out I don't know how many in a minute but <laughs> it's only <laughs> taking just me keeping 10 them going. to do one <laughs> so no. then when you place it in there just be sure you're kind of like folding it I'm into, scared like, of this part maybe you should do this part you'll probably <laughs> be better try. than I am this part uh oh. 
<laughs> and you're really no stranger to powwows. You've got, you've got a whole history at the powwows, don't you? Yeah, my family has actually been doing it now for over 25 years wow. now. So How nice. We've been, I'm kind of a child of the gathering and <laughs> as, it, as it were. I love, oh, it looks so good just, already. So you're watching it kind of pop. You're just watching the edges of it, oh, making yeah. sure that it gets nice and brown. Nice. The like idea is you just want to flip it just the one time and then it'll. Oh, just one done. time. Yeah. Okay. And you know, if somebody's attempting to make this at home, do you guys have a, a good piece of advice you can offer to somebody? Um, be careful. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> be extra careful. Don't get burned by the grease. Yep. So we'll just let it sit in oh, there. That's the, so good. Maybe kinda, turn up the heat. Turn up the heat. So turn yeah, you definitely do want to keep the heat nice and high so that it does kind of, um, you know, cook the bread faster. So it's not just kind of sitting well, in there. I was just curious. When you're poking it, what are you looking for specifically? Um, a lot of times you're just making sure that the air bubbles are out of there because okay. the air bubbles they trap a lot of the grease. And, oh, good point. And we go when you're going and trying to eat it, you know, <laughs> it's yeah. just a dangerous situation. <laughs> that's so yeah, a very good point. we're just kind of. Uh, Poking at it, making sure, checking it. Nice. And making you only sure want to flip nice it once. And make sure it's nice and brown, yep. Okay. So this is the fun part. Why don't you help out with this? I'd we'll love just to. Grab, grab the fry bread. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and get some of the chili on there. Mmm. Okay. Oh, oh, this looks so good. Kind of drain out. There. So this is like a Navajo taco, yeah? Yeah. Um, similar. Okay. Nice, nice. Is there a certain amount? Um, Can I load it we up? We always or? like to load it up for our customers, right, you know, keep you them coming back. <laughs> right? That's the way. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Okay. So then once you get it, once you feel that it weighs about 10 pounds now, you can start to move over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you got to get a workout before you eat it. There you go. Okay. That's good, right? Yes. This okay, one. perfect. Grease is a little Next. cooling off. So why don't we go ahead and put some cheese on there okay. so that it melts on there just right. Oh, while it's nice and hot. Okay. And okay. then we can go ahead and put some lettuce on there. Okay. And I'm going to let you finish this one and I'll cool. take a bite of the one that's finished. Definitely. So that we don't run out of time because <laughs> what would what would this all be if I didn't get a chance to try it? There now I'm go. just going to, should I just cut into it or break it? Oh. So there's a couple it's of either techniques. Way. You can, the, the true taco eater will just grab the whole thing up, fold it up, and take a good bite. But <laughs> take a good bite, okay. We can go ahead and uh, just, yeah, use a fork and oh kind of tear gosh. into a piece of oh, it. Oh, this is incredible. <laughs> oh, my gosh, this is incredible. So then, as soon as you're done with that, what yeah. we, our new version that we made is oh, this the dessert here, version. is the dessert version. Let's show our viewers real which quick. Is, oh. Which is the uh, oh. strawberries and whipped cream. It's beautiful. So they have... Yeah, we definitely, um, we actually brought that one out for the 25th anniversary for oh, the Gathering Nation. Dessert fried bread, I love it. Well, you guys, thank <laughs> you so much. I wish you tons of luck at the Gathering Nation's powwow and continued success in your future. Definitely. This is delicious. And if you want to try this at home, go to our recipe on Costa.com. We'll be right back. Thank you, bye.